a senior UN official said this week that a de facto aid blockade was exacerbating the humanitarian crisis in Tigray and that millions of people were on the brink of hunger. And the African Union also urged the Ethiopian government to step up efforts to ensure aid access to the region that has been racked by 10 months of conflict. Ethiopia's Ministry of Peace said on Saturday there had been efforts since last week to better coordinate and facilitate the movement of humanitarian aid to Tigray. It said in a statement posted on Twitter that about 500 trucks with food and other aid had entered the region, including 152 in the past two days, and that the number of checkpoints had been reduced to two from seven. The conflict erupted in November when Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed sent in troops to topple the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, the regional ruling party, saying the move was in response to attacks on army camps. Although the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize winner vowed a swift victory, the war has dragged on and spread into the neighboring Afar and Amhara regions. The Ethiopian authorities and Tigrayan rebels have repeatedly accused the other of obstructing humanitarian convoys trying to reach Tigray. The UN's acting humanitarian coordinator for Ethiopia, Grant Leity, warned Thursday that the situation was set to worsen dramatically and called on all sides to allow in relief supplies to avert this looming catastrophe. An estimated 5.2 million people, or 90 percent of the population in Tigray, urgently need assistance, he said, including 400,000 already facing famine-like conditions. Millions were on the brink of going hungry, including 1.7 million people in Afar and Amhara, he added, saying stocks of relief aid, cash, and fuel are running very low or are completely depleted. The African Union, which is headquartered in Addis Ababa, on Friday also urged the Ethiopian government to do more to prevent starvation in the region.